Verse 7. Let's go together. Read verse 7. I will praise you with your uprightness of heart. When I learn your righteous what? Judgments. When I learn your righteous what? Now the judgments of God are righteous. They are unlike the judgments. Some of the judgments that take place in the courts of law in the Republic of Kenya. They are as evil as evil itself. And one thing that is so very disappointing, ladies and gentlemen, is that the guys who sit in the court, they sit in the seat we call the seat of justice, right? And if, for example, I became a judge of a high court in the Republic of Kenya, how will I be referred to? Justice Michael. Asamu. So, I am not, you don't call me Mike, Mr. Michael, you call me what? Justice. Now, justice means what? Doing that which is just and right in the society. But how many people, how many, like in this country, you have seen all rich people, cases that are against them, including murder, they end up being dismissed. Is that righteous judgment? No, it's not righteous judgment. The judgments of this in, in, in our judicial system are so unjust and perverse and very much interfered with from other quarters. There are women in this country who are now 90 who went to court 40 years ago or 30 years ago because someone encroached on their land. They are poor widows and they have never been given justice by people who sit in the seat of what? My friend, they sit in the seat of what? Justice. And they are called what? Justice so and so. They are liars. Perverse and wicked in their hearts. But guess what? The judgments of God are righteous. God doesn't make unjust judgments. His judgments are righteous altogether. God will never steal from a poor widow and make a man... How many widows have lost their property? Many. In the court of justice in the Republic of Kenya. Poor widows have been denied their rights. Poor orphans have been denied their rights by those who sit in the seat of justice. But let me tell you, there is a righteous judge. You can win, an, you can win a case in the wicked judicial system of the, of the Republic of Kenya. But there is a judge in heaven who will give a right, righteous judgment, a just judgment, and his name is God. Let us read verse 7 again. I will praise you with uprightness of heart when I learn your righteous judgments. You know, when I, you know, he says, when I sit down and look at the judgments of God, how God has judged in history. How God has vindicated his people. How God has fought for his people. Those of you who, had, who listened to the broadcast today, our broadcast today, our media team gave us a very nice thing on the fact that God will fight your what? Battles. And it was from the book of Second Chronicles chapter 20. And he talked about King Jehoshaphat. When three kingdoms came against him. And the king declared prayer and fasting. And the spirit of prophecy came on one man called Ahaziel. And Ahaziel said, Listen to me, O ye Jerusalem and Judah. And O ye king who? Jehoshaphat. Do not be dismayed because of the vastness of the army that is coming against you. And the Lord said, in this battle, you will not have to do what? To fight. Tomorrow, you go and stand in the battle field. And you will see what? The salvation of the Lord. He is God who fights our battles. He makes judgment. And he judged against those three kingdoms.
by confusing them and they began to fight each other and killed each other. There is a God of judgment. Now there are people who have stolen property of the widows and all their children are on marijuana. Waliiba mali ya nani? Ya mjane. Na watoto wao wote ni zuzu. Ni zombi. Kimekunyu, kimefuruta banki kina kaanga tuna mna hizi. Na mjane na kibibitoto yake, amengangana bimesoma, bimekua mwalimu, binaendelea. Na hea alinyanganya shamba, na watoto wake wote ni zuzu. There is a God of judgment. And his judgment is true. He is just. He is the defender of the defenseless. He will fight your battles and give you victory. When people falsely accuse you to the degree that they deny you what was rightfully yours, I want to submit to you, ladies and gentlemen, those people have not won the battle. They have lost. Because the God of justice will reward you in a manner that will perplex them. It may not be today and it may not be tomorrow, but surely it is coming. You should have shouted a bigger, a bigger amen. amen. Surely your, your vindication is coming. Spiritual nourishment, click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video.